Hello everyone, I am Deepak Nial. Currently, I am working as an assistant professor of computer science and engineering in the Graphic Era Deemed to be University. I am working here since last five years, and prior to that, I have an experience as a software engineer. And before that, I have done my MTech in computer science and engineering from the IIT Roorkee. So basically, I have an experience of seven years till now. I welcome all of you to this new semester. Although it has been a difficult time since last one and a half year due to this COVID-19, but still we are trying our best to get into the mode of online learning and digital education. So, in this semester, I am going to teach you a very important subject that is design and analysis of algorithms. In previous year, we have. Uh, studied a very important subject, another important subject which is prerequisite to this, that is data structures. So basically, these two subjects are a combination that is very important for a computer science engineer. Using these two subjects, you can crack very good companies in the placements and make your basics very strong. So basically, you should have combination of data structures, algorithms, and one programming language in which you can implement these things. Basically, I would suggest you to do programming in C++, but you should have concepts of C also. So basically, C, C++, data structure, and algorithms. These are a combination which is very helpful during placements and using these core concepts you can design big systems right so what we are going to do here we have been trying to basically divide our labs into different weeks and theory is a separate part that i will be covering in different section but in this part, I am going to cover about labs. So I have divided or I will say we have divided our labs into different weeks, right? So I am going to begin with week zero. Week zero means in this week, we are going to learn about this setup part only. And what is the setup? The way we are going to take your assignments, the way you are going to submit those assignments. So I will be using Git and GitHub for this, right? So I have already provided you this document. In this document, you can see that I have provided you multiple instructions. What you have to do? You have to create a separate repository for your DALAB assignments. And you have to use these four tutorials that I have already given to you to learn about the setup of Git and GitHub try to learn few commands. Basically, you need to learn about push command. Pull command is not that necessary, but push command, commit command, get status. These are important things that you have to learn to do your assignments, right? So what you have to do, you have to create a separate repository and inside that repository, you can provide different folders or different directories. For this week, week zero, you have to create a repository and then inside that repository, you have to provide a folder with name week 0. And in this, you have to create a file with the name linear search dot double x. Double x is basically extension of a file. If you are creating a Python program, you have to do it dot py. In Java, you have to do it dot Java. In C++ CPP and in C, it should be dot C. Right? So basically, it depends on the programming language that you are using. There is no restriction for this problem. And the problem that you are going to solve in this week 0 is given an array of non-negative integer, design a linear algorithm and implement using a program to find whether a given key element is present in the array or not. Also, you have to find out total number of comparison for each input case and time complexity should be O n. So O means this is big O. So in theory part, you will learn about this. What does it mean? Right. 
you can design number of test cases input and output format on your own so basically this is for practice purpose so i will not be telling much about this thing when we will move to week 1 i will talk about these things in more detail right so i hope you are clear about this problem if you are not let me explain it a bit you have an array of non negative integers why we are using non negative integers why you are not saying positive integers you can answer this in comments right then you have to apply a linear algorithms linear algorithm means in an array you have to search from the beginning like you have 10 elements then you have to start from first second third fourth fifth sixth like this and if you find that element you have to print a message that element is found otherwise you have to print a message that element is not found right so you have to do this program in week 0 and push your code on github so basically this week's problem is not about solving this problem it's about setting up of github and try to do something on that right so i hope uh, this is clear to you if you have any problem or any queries you can write your comments under this video and i will try to respond to each and every query or in doubt session we can clear these things but first of all you can begin this this is uh, most basic thing and why you are using github because using github we can track your assignments the time the duration and the number of commits you have done whether you have copied the code or code from somewhere or not, someone or not so you don't need to all you don't need to do all these things if you are going to copy code from someone else certainly that is not going to help you so i will suggest you please do all these things on your own do all the programming problems on your own otherwise it could be difficult for you during your examinations right so i will wind up this video now i think it's enough if you have any doubt or query please write your queries in the comments and i will try to respond back as soon as possible okay see you in the next video till then thank you so much